Welcome to Love Set Run. I'm Andre. And I'm Sierra. Join us as we backpack around the world, leaving a footprint of love everywhere we go. We'll show you how you can consciously volunteer on your travels, how fun and rewarding it is to give back, and how you too can make a difference in the world. Okay, we made it to Bang Vieng. It's a thousand. With infinity percent humidity. And we have, I guess, a little bit of a walk. Shoot. To get to our place. Okay. Uh, maybe we should just pay a tuk tuk. <laughs> we have arrived at our Laotian volunteering stop, Fruit Friends, also known as Let Laos Learn. We're here for the week to teach English. Here comes Andre. Can you get through? Oh, very nice. Say hi, Boon. <laughs> we arrived on a weekend, and since there are no classes today, we dropped our things and decided to get to know the town a bit and grab a bite to eat. We're about to get down on this banana, Nutella, coconut, pancake, crepe, street food, hot and fresh, tasty thing I just ordered. How is it? Well, I'm a little frightened. It's good. After a long, bumpy bus ride to get to this remote town, we enjoyed a relaxing afternoon. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. The first day of school. We made it to our first class of the day. We're excited. This is our mentor in volunteering. Carlene. No, <laughs> Clearly all the kids love her and we have so much to learn from her, so let's get this party started. My name is Sierra. My name is Andre. Stepping into a room full of kids all looking at you is a little intimidating. You hope you do a good job, that they learn something from you, but fortunately we have another long-term volunteer to help guide us and introduce us to the rhythm of class. Let Laos Learn is a Belgium-based nonprofit founded in 2006, focused on building and renovating schools, teaching English, and building community for Laos students. Over 1,300 Lao children and teenagers have attended classes in the schools built by Let Laos Learn and Fruit Friends. One of the reasons we chose this organization is how affordable it is to volunteer here. For $22 a day per person, your room and board is covered, including bicycle use. Well, we did it. We finished teaching our first class in Laos. Now it's time for a quick family-style lunch with the rest of the volunteers before we head over to our next class. Our next class is an English after-school program for underserved kids in a different village. It's a bit more rustic here, but the kids are beaming with high spirits. We have a 
Let's do that. This is Lao dancing. A little different from what we're used to seeing, but they really seem to be enjoying themselves, and that's all that matters. Clearly, it's all in the hands. Being the florist I am, I couldn't show up to this wedding without making a bridal bouquet for the bride. I then shared with her our American tradition of tossing the bouquet. The girls really got into it. It's pouring rain, and we have a half hour bike ride. Okay, day number two of volunteering, and we found our way to Cabin College. Had to ride our bikes like three kilometers in the rain this morning, which is always an interesting experience. Monks riding bicycles with us with their little umbrellas, school children everywhere, the town's waking up. It took a little while to find the actual classroom because even though English is taught everywhere here, it's very difficult to find someone who understands English, unfortunately. And today's a business hotel management class, so let's see how it goes. Finding out that we would be teaching a hotel management course caught me off guard, but it was fun to role play with these high school students. Third class of the day. We're back at the public school for more elementary classes and finally starting to get the hang of this whole teaching thing. Let Laos Learn connects resource poor schools in Bang Vieng with volunteers so that the students can obtain valuable English language skills. Additionally, volunteers bring new ideas and perspectives that promote cross-cultural understanding. While there are significant efforts to improve the quality of education in Laos, serious problems persist, including an insufficient number of qualified teachers, deficient school infrastructure, and low student enrollment. These problems are visible in Van Vieng, a small community where the growing tourist market is demanding skills such as English-speaking ability. The failure to communicate with foreign travelers is the most significant obstacle for locals in search of decent jobs in the tourism sector. Boone and the Lao interns prepared traditional food for us three times a day. We love discovering all the new textures, flavors, and unique ingredients. It seemed like each one of these kids were so eager to learn and happy to be here in class. They played similar games that I played with my friends growing up. Clearly, no matter where you are from in the world, childhood interests and ways to connect and make friends are all the same. Just another example of the single humanity we all belong to.
We got a chance to hang out with the kids on their lunch break and socialize a bit. It was fun just spending time with them outside the classroom. The boys were especially interested in my tattoos. <laughs> Even though we're outsiders, the kids made us feel included. And it was so funny to see how they couldn't believe that's Andre's actual skin. <laughs> Let Laos Learn's programs run all year round. You can come here anytime to volunteer on your own schedule for as little as a week, like we did, or as long as you like. They work in a sustainable way by understanding that the locals know what's best for them. Let Laos Learn believes that bringing together different cultures is a win-win situation for all of us. Good job, good job. Lunchtime is where we really get to know our fellow volunteers and the family we're staying with. We've arrived at our next class of the day. We're teaching this one completely on our own. No help from any other volunteers, so it's a little nerve-wracking. But the kids are awesome, and we're going to have fun, I'm sure. What's up, ID? That was interesting. We taught two English classes today. The first one was relatively easy. The kids were pretty well behaved. This afternoon at this school, we taught our own class. Bye bye. Completely unsupervised. And the kids were a little crazy. They got a little out of hand. One of them jumped out a window at one point. So, um, yeah, it was a little nuts. But it was a good experience and I'm glad we taught our own English class today. I am not cut out to be a teacher. I think I'm good at teaching, but I just don't have the patience for that. But I think that going around the world and experiencing different volunteering styles and types and working with animals and kids and, and plants, like everything, it's good to sample a little bit of each and you learn something from everything and from everyone. So I'm grateful for the experience. I have so much appreciation for people that do teach children. I just, I bow in reverence to your patience and to your hearts because it takes a really big heart to go slowly and teach these children the basics over and over and over again. One of the main attractions in Vang Vieng is tubing down the river, and today we have the perfect weather to do just that. Time to relax.
Laos is rich with limestone, creating what's called a karst landscape. Karsts are made of soft rock and form dramatic vertical peaks due to erosion from high rainfall. Stunning. Teaching English abroad is such an incredible way to see the world and immerse yourself in another culture. I'm so glad we had this opportunity because it was challenging in unexpected ways, like learning how to create lesson plans and finding clever ways to teach the students. One thing is for sure, the smiles on these kids' faces sure made it an enjoyable and unforgettable experience. Our time teaching English here has been an amazingly fulfilling experience. It hasn't been without its challenges, but working with these children has brought us such great joy. Even though we were only here for a week, we hope that we've made an impact on the students and are so grateful to the other volunteers who have dedicated much more time than us to building a better life for the future of Laos. Well, we're leaving for friends. Bye, Bang Gang. Thanks for an amazing time here. We are a beautiful, special place in Laos. It's been awesome. We'll see you in Luang Prabang. We'll miss you guys.